Yo, what's going on, yo? We had to do this like about four times. I'm getting old, so I gotta go off this paper. I got my pocket right here. Okay, first of all, this is real brother Van Silk. I'm a hip hop true story, and I'm not a pioneer. I'm a true story, keeping the timelines right, keeping the culture right. I got love for everybody. But this is what's going on right now. I want to talk to y'all because I created an organization called People Care Lives Matter. We don't march. We about the community. Handfuls, books, awareness. We're building the communities. We're building the people. And uh, we got 14 cities right now with 14 pages. We got about 25 people who share the information to their timelines and they, they could delete it after a while because it's about getting the real vital information out there. Right now, what's upsetting, upsetting me and it's upsetting everybody is what's going on in Charlotte, North Carolina. Mr. Kevin Scott, God bless your soul, but there's a video I posted the other day stating that, by a young African American woman stating that Kevin Scott was shot by a white police officer uh, in the red shirt. I'm quite sure everybody's seen the white video officer standing there with the red shirt on. And then there's another video that I have that I'm going to post today by a Caucasian woman who said that he was shot by the white police officer. Now they got a video of there being a gun or gloves thrown on the floor. The most important video is the one made by the body cam by the police officer in Charlotte, North Carolina. But we just don't have that situation going on. We got the situation in Tulsa going on. We just got three people shot and killed in Washington State at the mall. We got a situation where an African American man was beaten by the police in Maryland uh, where uh, he's brain dead. We still got the situation in Florida where the guy that worked with the autistic uh, health care worker was laying on the ground, he got shot. I don't understand. Our brothers, we're living in a time of dealing with the police militarized state. We put our hands up, we still can get shot. I don't understand. I don't know what to tell y'all to do. say is right now, I got both my grandsons out here right now, and this little one here, I want to get off his car, because he's not going to let me film this the right way, and he's going to try to run down the street, which we're not going to happen, but the second topic I want to talk about to everybody is that we got to get back into our communities, we got to teach the people in our communities, we got to help the people in our communities, we got to help the people with the kids in the communities, we got to get the fathers back in the communities. We got to get with the councilman, the councilwoman in our community. We got to get to know the police department, community affairs divisions. Let's start doing events. Let's start doing school drive. Let's start doing after, after daycare centers. We got to clean our own community up. Boycotting Target and Walmart, it's not going to affect them. Because they can sit behind the doors and do deals. I'll, cut, I'll price this month, you cut yours next month. We got to get to the people in the community. We really do. Third topic I want to get on, something that our hip hop brother came up with, Curtis Blow. Came up with Hip Hop Global Mobile. It's backed by a company called Unified Signals. And this is the opportunity for all of us pioneers in this industry to make some money as salesmen because it's more like an affiliate program. Integrated with the four biggest phone companies in the world. Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint. And Sprint still around. And it gives us an opportunity to have the different plans if you want to be part of Hip Hop Global Mobile. This is just not about the hip hop culture. It's just a name. Anybody can apply for Hip Hop Global Mobile if you want to change your phone service. So if you want to go and visit hiphopglobalmobile.com, see what the website look like, see what's going on, Understand this is an opportunity for us to make money. We, in our hip-hop culture, have to start supporting each other. Seriously. Cool V just sent me his new book. I meant to bring the book outside. Cool V. He's Vaughn Lee on Facebook. Get his brand new book. Sparky D has a brand new book. We got a lot of brothers out here doing a lot of important things. A lot of sisters doing things. We need to support.
support each other. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing and it's something that we created. Worry about what we're doing. We don't need nobody's money to do nothing. We, if we collaborate together, we could do our own thing. Now here's something I'm gonna put on the table. Whether I do it or whether somebody else do it. But I talked to Paulette Cunningham and I talked to Cool Cal and I talked to a few others. We need to do our own hip hop steak dinner. A $100 a plate dinner, three course meal with wine, black tie situation. Now, ain't about nobody making no money, cause that food and drinks is gonna cover your $100 plate. I don't care who you are, you're gonna pay if you wanna come. If you're interested and think this is a great idea, inbox me, hit me up. But we need to do our own thing. A $100 plate dinner sometime in the first quarter, early 2017, we can sit down, be amongst our brothers and sisters from the culture of hip hop. We don't need no outsiders. If you want to eat and have your three course meal and have your drinks and act like we grown adults, let's have that hip hop steak dinner. And we can have entertainment, but the entertainment ain't gotta be by none of y'all that made records back in the day. We can hire entertainment. We can hire a band. This is the problem. You're hating on each other too much. And everybody want to be the leader. I don't care, let's do it. But let's do it. All I'm gonna say, we got people care, lives matter. I need canned food, clothes, books. We're gonna have, have 12 different seats for this holiday season coming up. If you wanna donate, inbox me. We got 12 different, no, 14 different pages right now, 14 cities. We sharing great information. I'm gonna open up six more cities this weekend. I'm opening up Staten Island. If you wanna be involved, then let's make a start here amongst ourselves. If you have an event that you want me to post on all these city pages, inbox me, because I don't care. I'm down with everybody. If you don't like me, then that's your problem. But at the end of the day, this is my grandson sitting here in this heat. Dying, he dying, he killing. My other grandson, he 12, holding the phone. And this is about getting the message out. I may not be the greatest messenger, but we gotta make things happen. This is your brother Van Silk. Search us on Facebook. People care, lives matter. We got 14 cities. If you want to be down, you want to share some information, you got local information that you need to be put up, let me know. I'll put it up. If you want to be down and help share the information, let me know. If you feel that you want to hold one of the, 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 the events in your city that we could raise clothes, food, toys for kids this holiday season, what's coming up for those who can't afford it, let me know. I'm down with it. Also, my brother Glenn Toby from Queens, go to the bookbankfoundation.org. He's been doing it for 20 years, all over the world, all over the cities. We need to grow up. We need to get something done. I'm out. Holler at me. People care. Lives matter. If you want to represent your city, then we open the page up. We got all the logos done. Thanks to Star Child, the MC from Jefferson Projects, who did all the logos. And all I got to say is, we're about business, and let's give love, and let's stop hating on each other, and let's become one family, one unit. Have a great day.